We take very seriously our responsibility on Portland Harbor. Our job is to safely navigate any ship, any size ship, any day of the week. Safety is paramount. Our main priority, of course, is the safety of the vessel, the people on board, our crews, and the environment. My name is Brian Fournier, I'm the president of Portland Tugboat and I'm also a state licensed docking pilot. We understand that this is a shared working waterway. We want to see this harbor prosper. We want to see people be able to fish, swim, enjoy the elements. Our job as a pilot, as tugboat operators, is the safety of the environment. We have a training regiment where we annually will go to uh, MSI in Providence, Rhode Island. They have an integrated simulator where a tug is integrated with the ship and the pilots can control the tug movements. And also annually here, sponsored by the Portland Pipeline, we do a live training exercise with the actual tanker and the tugboats getting involved. The whole process of bringing ships safely into Portland Harbor begins with a detailed risk assessment, identifying those risks and making sure that we develop mitigating strategies for those risks and ensuring the safest possible uh, transit to the pier here at the pipeline. Once the vessel's been vetted and chartered to come to Portland, the vessel will arrive at the pilot station at the end of sea passage. The sea pilots will go out and meet the vessel and one of the first things they do is confirm the vessel's arrival draft. We have a draft limit here in Portland Harbor and they have to ensure that they can meet that draft restriction and not exceed that dra draft restriction at any time during the vessel transit through the inner, outer and inner harbors. Once they begin their vessel inbound, they're met by three escort tugs and those escort tugs are special in that they have to have a minimum bollard pull to be able to impart their energy to the ship should there be a steering or propulsion failure on that ship when they're making their, their journey inbound. Well, we'll swing around the stern. The crew will take a line from us and they'll put it in a, what they usually call a super chalk. It's usually the largest one and the, the strongest one they have on the stern. And uh, we'll put out 150 feet of line or so. And uh, they'll, not very often, but occasionally they'll ask us to slow the ship down. And if they do have an engine problem or a steering problem, we'll be able to uh, respond immediately to it with the lineup. And the other boats will uh, be put in position to, to help out also. There'll be two other boats. By the time he gets to Catfish here, this red buoy up ahead of us, there'll be two other boats with us too, one in either quarter. And between the three of us, at five knots, we wouldn't have any problem stopping or steering this ship here. In fact, we've uh, We've probably done a half a dozen drills like that out here uh, with, with ships of this size, just tests in deeper water to see how the ship would react and how fast we could stop it. Once we get up inside, we'll, uh, we'll take that line back in, we'll put Brian aboard, our, the docking pilot, and uh, we'll go to docking positions. For us, it's us shifting to the other end of the ship, we'll be up on the bow. Uh, the other two tugs will be, uh, well, one will be on the stern and one will be on the uh, bow opposite us, the port bow. This one's going to the north side. Uh, uh, once they get up inside and go past uh, uh, the 16 buoy or so, they're usually doing three knots. Out here they'll do five knots, as much as five knots. And uh, approach the pier, they should be a knot or less for the last uh, couple ship lengths as they approach the dock. Once the vessel has arrived safely at the inner harbor, then the uh, command of the vessel is turned over to the docking pilot. The docking pilot takes control and he'll maneuver his three tugboats to safely bring the ship alongside the pier. And the approach to the pier also has a managing system that dictates the maximum rate of closure to the face of the dock and the maximum angle to the face of the dock. And to put that in perspective, the approach velocity is a maximum of 15 feet per minute, which is very slow with that amount of mass and, and energy. We want to make sure we're totally in control. And we also have a, a six degree uh, maximum angle, which we want to make sure we engage the ship parallel to the face of the dock and engage as many fenders as possible to 
absorb that uh, energy of the docking maneuver. Our managing systems allow us to have an extremely safe and environmentally friendly operation. We've moved millions and millions of barrels through this system in my career. I've been here for 39 years and I can tell you that the last reportable spill from cargo operations occurred in 1994 and the amount spilled was approximately one cup, eight ounces of oil compared to the millions and millions of barrels that we've moved. So it's a testament to our good managing systems, good practices and procedures, and the good employees we have that ensure safety and environmental protection every day. It's a beautiful place to work. I mean, this, this is the office here. It's the, the view out my office windows. It's better than the corner office um, in the building, I'm sure. And uh, night or day, it's, 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 it's pretty enjoyable work, really. I can't imagine myself doing anything else.